How the hell do you get elected if you have open borders and high interest rates and you can't buy a car? And if you do buy a car, they want you to buy an electric car, which doesn't go very far. And the United Auto Workers, this guy, Sean Fain, what he, what the contract that he entered in, you know, all those cars are going to be made in China within three years. I hope they know that. The auto workers are all, I think the auto workers, I met a couple of them back. Raise your hand if you're, there is one guy right there. Do you agree with me? He sold you out. Where's, I had a guy, he had the strongest build I've ever seen. I said, I'd love a body like that. Where is that guy? Where is that? Right there's one. These guys are so, you're lifting, you know, a lot of stuff. You gotta, by nature. And then they go and work out after work. I mean, explain that one. But no, I met a lot of the auto workers backstage and they're great people, but they're being sold out. We're gonna bring auto workers back to the country. We're gonna have all sorts. You want, you want electric, you want a hybrid. We're bringing everything back. You can have your choice. The problem is electric doesn't go very far, you know? You, you're driving along and you're petrified. Oh my, I, I'm going to front. They say, next charging booth, 93 miles. Go west, 93 miles. The whole thing is crazy. And you know, if we built all the charging booths that are necessary, our country would go bankrupt. You know that, Pete? The country, it would cost like $3 trillion more money. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. But we're dealing with a lot. He's a very low IQ individual, our president. I would be willing to bet that Joe Biden, of all the presidents, we've had a lot of them, he is the lowest IQ individual of any president ever, ever. And he's telling us to get rid of our, to get rid of our cars, get, they want to make trucks all electric. The problem is they don't go far either. And you'd have to have half of the capacity of the truck would be devoted to a battery. I don't know if you know this. They want to make our army tanks, you know, the beautiful army tanks. They want to make them into all electric. So that it was, as we enter a country to obliterate it, at least we give them nice, clean air, beautiful air. Beautiful air to breathe as we obliterate them. Crooked Joe has ordered a hit job on Michigan manufacturing with his insane electric vehicle mandate. Do the auto workers here, of which we have a lot, uh, do you agree with that? There's the guy. Uh, come on up here. Come here. Come here. Come on up. This never works out. You know that, right? That's okay. No, I like this guy. I met him backstage. He's great. He's great. Come on up. Secret Service is thrilled. You know when we do this stuff? Secret, and you look at the guy, he could rip you apart. Come on up. I like this guy. Come on, come here. Come here. Oh, well, say something. Say something. Take, wait, take that thing off. Come here. Take that thing. Look at this guy. Thank you, President Trump. We got your back. The auto workers are going to support this guy like we did in 16, 20. We're going to do it again in 24. Everybody's going to get out and vote. We're going to vote. 85 million of us are going to vote for this guy. They can't cheat enough to beat him. I love you, brother. I love you. He's fighting the fight. Well, that worked out well. Look, I met him backstage. I liked him. I said, look at these muscles. This guy's got muscles all over the place. I said, what do you do? He said, I'm an auto worker. I said, that's too bad, because you're not going to have a job in two years. And he agrees with me, but I want to thank him, and you did a great job. I think he was more effective than I could ever be, actually. Thank you very much. We don't want to see it happen. We want to bring manufacturing back. You know, you've lost already 54% over the years, 54% of auto manufacturing, and you're going to lose the rest of it very fast, a lot of it coming out of Michigan, a lot of it coming out. So we're going to get it back, and we're going to have, we're going to have big investments from other companies.